this is the game queen. I'm in the wrong place. Hold on. Back in the place to click. Meet you at the meadow. Oops. Wahoo! Back right. to the meadow. Yes, we are. Okay, my bad. My last recording did not go well, but we clicked on most stuff in here. Except for some magnify-y things, so let's look around. Maybe. No, yes, no, maybe. No, I don't know. Let's play a game. Welcome to Bug's Eye View. Go for it. Okay, in, in my lost recording, basically, you have to click. It's a puzzle. You click the pieces so that they match the things that are kind of blurry at the moment. Like. Hold on. I put it on hard mode because I'm apparently good at this. Look at these mad puzzle skills. Yeah, I solved it. Great! That's a real people's eye view you have there. Look how cute it is with all the spikes, spikes. We're gonna do one more. Hold on, I did not see what I wanted. <laughs> Clicked on the other one. Silly thing. Oh, hello there, Mr. Praying Mantis. And done. Looking good. Now I get the picture. Yep. Okay. See you next time. All right. We already did arch, I think. We got the crab. And uh, yeah. I guess that's it. We're off. Oh right. Um Galaxy. We, I'm all for the forest. We did not see but some stuff in the forest. Adventure. My bad. We did not take our magnifying glass down. I don't think metallic boring beetles are boring at all. In fact, they're so colorful that people in Asia wear them as jewelry. I feel like I should find a real picture of that and show people. If you want to see a factory in action, look at a paper wasp. They chew little bits of wood which they mix with their saliva and presto! They spit out paper! <laughs> Honeybees live all together in a colony. The queen, the drones, and the workers. The female worker bees fly in and out of the hive, bringing pollen and nectar to everyone. Yay. It's like communism. Yay, communism. The Sphinx Moth is named after its caterpillar stage, when it looks a lot like an Egyptian Sphinx. I really want to find an actual picture of this. I don't know if it does look like a Sphinx or not. But yeah. Back on this. Your quick is my command. Freshwater pond. Here we come. Okay. Wow, back to the pond. So, yeah, I, I was already here, but. Yep. Yep. Okay. What is this thing? According to my neighbor, the roly poly potato bugs that live in my yard have cousins who live in the pond. Only here they're called aquatic isopods. Isn't it amazing all the places bugs live? Whoa. In the forest, the plains, the tundra, and the snow. There's no place that a bug won't go. Did, you, did, did, did anybody else see how fast she was going? She's like a, a, a submarine. It's odd but true that the bat swimmer swims upside down using its fuzzy hind legs as oars. Having a boat-shaped body helps the back swimmer to move quickly through the water. It disappeared. Oh. <laughs> My computer kind of glitched. It's over there now. 
back to immerse them upside down and have dark brown bellies that make them almost invisible to hunting birds above. And their backs are lightly covered to make them less visible to hungry fish below. They've got it covered, no matter which way they turn. Okay. Uh, see that underwater caterpillar with an extra long tail? It's really a rat-tailed maggot. It uses its tail as a breathing tube. Fascinating. This diving beetle has a nifty way of swimming underwater. He carries a bubble under his wings that lasts for 48 hours. Wow, that's impressive. That bug went away. You've got to be fast on the draw to catch the way this dragonfly moves. Just look how it hovers in the air, like a helicopter. I can't see it hovering, because my computer's glitching. The way I see it, there's no way to sneak up on a dragonfly. They've got a 360 degree view of the world. Fishing spiders could sit for hours on a lily pad, waiting for just the right food to swim by. Amazing! A spider that's willing to sit still for its portrait. <laughs> Becoming a mosquito is no easy job. First, the mom lays her eggs on the surface of the water. Then the eggs turn into larvae. The larvae turn into pupas. And the pupas turn into mosquitoes. And I thought it was hard turning in my homework. That is still not relevant and not very funny. Okay, um... I have to say, with all of these people, I know a lot of the original voice actors aren't in this, but Carlos's voice actors, eh, I mean, he's doing okay. And My research has revealed that this giant water bug can actually kill and eat a fish. It helps when you have a sharp, pointed beak and hooks on your front leg to hold the fish still. That's one tough bug. That's kind of scary. This bug is called a water scorpion because it has a long tail like a real scorpion. But the water scorpion uses its tail for breathing, not for stinging. Okay, what is she? Baby mayflies are called nymphs. And being a mayfly nymph just may be the strangest thing that's ever happened to you. You have six legs. I would assume it's strange. Side swimmers like to eat leftovers that fall to the floor of the pond. My dog Zoomer likes leftovers that fall to the floor of the kitchen. Yeah. Yep. Springtails have a special way to escape danger. They have a tail spur that folds it against their belly. When they release it, it springs free and shoots them high into the air. Up it springs and down it goes. And where it stops, nobody knows. There are 40,000 species of spiders in the world, but the diving bell spider is the only one that hunts, mates, and builds a nest, all inside an underwater diving bell. That's cool. Look how cool that is. It's the spider. Does anyone know the difference between a dragonfly and a damselfly? Dragonflies breathe fire and damselflies don't. The damselfly uh. holds its wings over its abdomen when it's resting, and the dragonfly holds its wings straight out. Interesting. Look at that water strider go. No wonder they're called pond skaters. With their four eyes, whirligig beetles can see below and above the water at the same time. I guess they don't miss much. Good observation, Wanda. Like my uncle Citrus used to say, keep your eyes peeled or you'll end up as a meal. Okay, does no one see how fast she's moving? It's like scary fast. It's like way too fast. Like, ah. Okay, um... I think that's... I think that's everything, huh? Swimming. Huh. She did a flip. Okay. My gills are just like the oars of a boat. I bathe them to get oxygen from the water. I need oxygen too. I guess that puts us in the same boat. Wow. So many places for a missing bug to hide. It's got to be here somewhere. The pond is a great place to arrive. It's loaded with bugs you can see swim, hunt, and dive. I wouldn't mind being a dragon. They're truly the acrobats of the air. They can fly backwards, hover like a helicopter, or stop short in midair. That's cool. There's no end to the way insects hop and fall and glide and swim and dive and jump. 
This pod is an ocean of insects and locomotion. Hey, that's actually fun. This bug lives in a stinky mud without a care because it uses its tail to reach the fresh air. This big baby will someday reach the sky, in spite of the fact that rats don't fly. This final clue should help you without fail. Find the caterpillar lookalike with a mouthful tail. Okay. If my research is correct, this rat-tailed magnet will head straight for the bottom of our terrain. Thanks for returning it. Yay. Excellent detective work. You're a bodacious bug bagger. Yes, I am. three of the missing bugs. One more to go. Elevator music. Can I... I love the names they give you. It's like... Like... It's truly the 90s when your greatest accomplishment is... Bodacious. Actually, it's not the 90s. This was a 2000s game. Oh, I'm so old. Let's paint a thing. Use this tool to make your stickers larger or smaller. I want to click things. Yeah, four-eyed bugs. That's creepy. You thought they were scary before. These are four eyes. I mean, okay. I, I happen to not be afraid of bugs. It's, it's, I am not too bad with them. Okay, um, we have like a minute left, I think. Or a few minutes. We got a few minutes. Let's see what the game is. Where to go? There it is. Maybe something short I can finish in like a second. Oh, it's not. I remember this. Welcome to Bugs Are It, the game show with fabulous prizes that will shows. make you richer than chocolate fudge. I'm your host, Bugsy the Drone. Before you get wow. started, you gotta sign in. Anybody got a problem with that? <laughs> Just kidding. So, tell me, what'll it be? A one-player game or a two-player game? It's a game that I don't have enough time to play right now. We are going to pause and come back. I, yeah, you creepy game show host looking guy. Don't blink at me. This is the Game Queen One saying... Player. Yes, I know. This is the Game Queen saying I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.